and we would type CMD. Yeah, we would type CMD and go here, ipconfig, enter. Okay, as you see here, we've only got one Ethernet adapter network card, okay, which is Ethernet adapter network bridge. Okay, we don't have, or although we had two different connections here but right now since we created a bridge we don't have any other um, any other uh, the, the local area connections here are not configured and we don't see any other IP addresses it's only one network bridge here okay the reason that it gave an IP address of 169.254 um, something it just gave it an IP address of, out of somewhere is that because uh, we're not on. A, we're not actually on a network that provides us with um, DHCP and automatic IP configuration. So it just gave it a uh, some random IP address. But we have to set this. Okay. Right now, I have connectivity from client two, from client two to client one, and client one to client two. But I don't have connectivity to this exactly because it doesn't have an IP address. Although this computer is already acting as a bridge, but I don't have connectivity. Let's go check this out. Okay, I'm not going to touch this IP address. This IP address has to be the one that we just wrote down there with a lot of problems. 1942253.20. It should be. This is a random IP address that we don't need, and it won't work for us. Let's just let's just go and check to see if we have connectivity from client one, which is 14, to client two, which is 15. Okay, so let's go to client one. Let's type 1942253.15. Okay, enter. Okay, again, <laughs> didn't type the IP. Didn't type the ping command. Ping, and here we get a reply. So we're connected client 2 right now the connect the connectivity be between the two networks is possible right now but what we have to do to make it possible for our third computer which is acting our, as a bridge here to be able to uh, actually connect with the two networks like it should uh, li like it was connected before we have to go here go to client 3 and let's close this down and go to the network bridge right click on it properties and here we would go to the internet protocol TCP IP click properties use the following IP address and write 194.225.33.20 oh god 33.20 okay and make sure you click the subnet mask or enter it 225.225.225.0 or any other configuration that you have it shouldn't be it shouldn't be this, uh, f f um, but make sure it uh, actually is similar to the configuration to the IP configuration of the network that you just have. Okay, so 1942253.20, click OK, click close. It would take a little bit of time, a couple of seconds, so I finished. And let's check to see our IP address on this bridge has changed. CMD enter, IP config enter. And as you see, 1942253322 and the uh, subnet mask. Okay. So let's go back to client one to see if we could ping the new IP address. 1942253321. No, okay, we're still now we're able to um, ping the bridge computer. Let's see if we are able to ping the uh, the other computer because we just changed the IP address of the bridge we just want to make sure that we still have connection to the other computer to the other network from client 1 we're on client 1 right now okay Let's hit enter and we still have connection we should have connection from client 3 as well let's go to start run CMD ping we're on client th uh, uh, excuse me we're on, we have to go to client 2 let's go to client 2 CMD enter IP config. Okay, this is 15. Let's check if we have connectivity to 14, which is client one. Oh god, I don't know why I forget this. This never happens. Ping 14, and we get replies without a problem. Let's check to if we have connectivity to the bridge, which is which was 20. 
Yes, we have. Okay. One other thing. Remember the IP address of the bridge? We had 1942533.13 and 17 associated with the bridge because it had two network connections. Right now, they don't exist anymore. Okay. Let's just give it a look to see if we could even ping it. 194.194.22533.17, for example. We're not getting replies. We're going to get a re request time at, in a second. Okay. As we did. Let's check 13. 13 is not possible either. We're going to get a request time again. So, as you see here, let's go back to our diagram. Everything is finished here. As you see here, we've got um, this computer before it had two network actually interface cards associated with different IP addresses. But as soon as we created the bridge, there are no uh, IP addresses associated with each network card anymore. And we have only and only one IP address okay and actually it would assume that these two connections here are its ports okay you know that um, in a bridge device that I showed you in the link since for example it's a device that has ports you just connect your networks to it okay the bridge device would take care of it okay and this bridge device um, it normally has an IP address okay it, 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 it could it could it, it's a possibility that it doesn't need uh, an IP address because it's just simply creating the connectivity but here since we have a computer placed here and we need the connectivity we need it to associate another IP address with the bridge so it would be actually possible to communicate um, from the other computers in our network to this computer okay so this computer which is a bridge computer we get an IP address and it would assume that these two connections which are actually connected to it the network interfaces are actually its ports where the networks are connected to it would consider itself as a device a bridge device okay so that's the reason it would actually uh, forget about these two IP addresses and it would get a new IP address and it will look at these as a port. Okay, one other thing that we have to say, let's go back to client 3 which was our bridge computer